boobs, cannibalism, and microwaves? You'll find out right here and right now on Brochi TV. All right, guys, I promised you another movie review, and here we are. So today's movie I have for you is called Microwave Massacre. Oh yeah, Microwave Massacre. If you're into cheesy 80s goodness with comedy and horror and lots of boobs and just, you know, blood and just mutilation, definitely check this movie out. Once again, I want to thank my friends over at Arrow Video for providing me a screener copy of this movie. Thanks, guys. I really do appreciate it. Now, I had never seen this movie previously. My thoughts are... Awesome! It's funny. It's great. I'm into cheesy comedy horrors, especially from the 80s. I love that feel of them. It's great. Dirty puns, funny jokes, bad acting, but that's what brings it its charm, and that's what I like about it. So, definitely pick this up if you're into that. As always, Arrow provides you lots of goodies on the DVD, or Blu-ray, I should say. Lots of special features. I did happen to watch some of the interviews. Uh, they're actually pretty good with the director and everything. Talks about their vision and things that happened to them on the set and, you know, things that went wrong. And, um, you know, basically it's just a really low-budget movie. They didn't have a lot of money to make this, so time was impeccable and against them. So, yeah, basically the premise of the movie is about a guy who's getting completely fed up with his wife's cooking. He cannot stand her in general. So one day he accidentally kills her, I believe, when he's drunk. And he eats her because he's like, well, why not? Her cooking sucks and maybe she tastes good. So he tries her and then from there on in, it gets even worse. He starts getting crazier, killing other people and eating them and he basically becomes a cannibal. So yeah, completely funny, just cheesy goodness. I can't say any much more about it without ruining too much, but just check it out for yourself, guys. Now, I believe the street date is in a couple weeks, maybe a month. I know some other people have already gotten it, but the main street date is a few weeks or so out, so you can't, I don't think everybody get it just at this moment. But I got a screener copy, which is why I can't show you it, because I don't have the booklet and everything like that. But I know that the, the new transfer it looks pretty good. Um, you know, it's got all the goodies and everything that comes with it. So definitely check it out, guys. Like I said, what more could you want? It starts off with a bang, just boobs and cannibalism and just, it kind of has the same feel as a trauma movie would. You know, the cheesy puns, the, you know, just the blood and the gore. Of course, trauma is probably a little bit more gorier than this movie, but nonetheless, it's in a funny setting and uh, in a fun way. And I actually liked it. It's, uh, it's a really cool movie. Like I said, I never seen it previously, so highly recommend checking it out, guys. Um, thanks again for dropping by here at Bro TV, and I want to thank my friends again at Arrow for providing me a generous screener copy of this film. Now, I will have some more videos to come out really soon, uh, a few other fun goody ones, uh, other cheesy ones, and some horror type movies. So, I'm going to, on a regular basis, try to put up some of these movie reviews at least once or twice a week. So, definitely stay tuned for that, guys. Ian and I will be back for some more food reviews, movie reviews, and other goodness. So definitely subscribe, like, share, comment. Don't forget, pick up this movie. It is awesome. I highly recommend it. Thank Thanks for watching Brochi TV. Have a good one, guys. Take care.